snacks. What it do, snackers, snackettes. Yep. I'm Gage. I'm Sin. And uh, we need to talk. Yeah, we Some, do. Something had happened. What? Yeah. Um. So look. Recently, like today. <laughs> Pretty much. But that's to basically put out a blog post. They did. Blaming Sony. Oh, blaming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, mean, they, 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 they put the ball in their court quick. Yeah, blaming Sony for not allowing mods to come to Skyrim mm-hmm. or to Fallout 4. Yep. Now, as many of you may know, mods are a regular thing for PCs. All day long. Yep. Okay? All day. But it's a brand new thing for consoles. Not something that generally happens. Nope. When that was announced at E3, was that two years ago? Uh, yeah. It must have been two years ago at E3, and they were like, we're bringing my support to Xbox One. It was kind of like, what? Yeah, it was a big thing, big announcement. Seemed like something that was like a timed exclusive thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it was going to come later to PS4, even though they didn't necessarily say that right then and there. Right. <clears throat> Since mods have come to Xbox One, people have been waiting yeah. For them to come to PlayStation 4. And they've been promising. It just it's yeah, coming. like it's it's, it's on the way, it's right. coming, we're working on it, we're trying to figure it out. Right. So we gotta push it back a little bit. We gotta push it back a little bit. And push it back a little bit. And then this happened. And literally Bethesda essentially said that Sony will not allow mods to be released the way they should be. Right. Um, which is for people to basically be able to do whatever, whatever they want. they feel like with the game. Um, <clears throat> with that said, there are certainly some differences between mods you can get on the PC and mods you can get on the Xbox One. Mm-hmm. They are curated. But they are curated in a way that essentially is they go up and then if they're not appropriate, they get pulled down. Okay. Right. But not saying you cannot make the mod. Just right. <laughs> let us make sure that yeah. everybody can. It's not stuff that's messed up or graphic or anything like that. You know, language. Whatever. Right, right. <clears throat> Sony doesn't seem to want to. Maybe is it put the resources forward to 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 monitor? Possibly. Because, what do you, I mean, seriously, what could it be that just kind of has Sony going, nah, we don't really want to do do this. Maybe giving up the control. They don't want to give up that control to Bethesda to say, hey, like I say, everybody just make your mods, put them up. Maybe they just... <clears throat> I don't know. It's a stupid move on their it, part. It, just, it is it, a stupid move on their it, part. It almost feels like like Sony tried to make a power play. You know what I mean? Like, we're the hottest selling console. We got this many consoles and homes. Your game is probably selling better on our console than it is, you know, elsewhere. Mind you, Bethesda has come out and said that activity on mods on the Xbox One is like 50% higher than it is in PC. You know what I mean? Which... It could be because it's new to... It, but, that, it, but, isn't new that, to but isn't that the point? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if, if, if it's that... If it has that kind of a grasp on the current community that's on Xbox One, knowing that the Xbox One community is that much smaller than the PlayStation 4... You would think you want to get in on this as soon as possible. Right. <clears throat> so that you can continue to do it going forward, because this is something that will probably not just be forced games that like Bethesda makes. Yeah. The possibility of mods in other games especially as we make this move towards true 4k gaming Mm -hmm. and microsoft is really poisoning themselves poising themselves to make a system that's a lot closer to what pcs really do and work that way windows 10 on your xbox on all your stuff you know what i mean i was thinking that with the playstation people i think they're alienating pc future pc players who might want to get a playstation 4 because this is the world that they're coming from where they have mods yeah and to take something as big as skyrim and fallout 4 and say no mods on the playstation 4 but we can go get this on xbox yeah and it i feel like it'll it'll deter it'll deter more people from grabbing a playstation than that this holiday I personally feel like it also hurts them because it is relatively common knowledge, but maybe not knowledge to everyone, that Bethesda games 
they all have a tendency to be a little janky when they come out. We do know that. Yeah. But they tend not to run as well on Sony's hardware anyway. There were issues way back with, you know, Skyrim on PlayStation 3. Um, Fallout 4, same thing on PlayStation 4. So there's already that kind of a thing with the community that is a huge community on on PlayStation. And now you're making that worse. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's just... Bethesda really just kind of did it like, oh, okay, here you go. Yeah, I feel like they've been behind the Leave scenes up there. trying to get it done and they're Bethesda's frustrated say, you know what? Yeah. We're tired of people asking us when these mods are coming out. We're trying to do it. Y'all are holding us up. So you know what? Hey, tell them what's play, really PlayStation's fault. Yeah. Yell at them. Ask them why. <sighs> this is bad. I, I completely expect to see Sony backpedaling. They're gonna have, they need to do something now. I expect now. to see them backpedal on this and allow this to be something that happens. I just, I do. It's gonna um, hurt. I do have a feeling that there's a concern that Sony's infrastructure, as far as PlayStation Network, maybe can't handle it. That having those mods and trying to curate it, like maybe their infrastructure just isn't designed to handle. Yes, it's a fix they need to make. Yeah. But maybe it just isn't designed to to handle that kind of a thing. Like I have to, I I have to assume that there is a legitimate reason why Sony would do this because I can't imagine why you wouldn't do this. Sell more units. You got remaster of Skyrim coming out on your system. These are games yes. that are really ready for PC communities, ready to run in 4K, and you got a PlayStation 4 Pro now. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and Microsoft, if they, if they don't backpedal on this, take advantage, mm. put out a bundle this holiday with mm. Fallout 4, mm. Skyrim Remastered, clean Done. up. Clean up, Done. guarantee. Put it with that. Out. Put it with that S. Oh, Just give them away. Yeah, you're gonna clean box. up. Yeah. Because so I can tell, you, I'm one of those people that's going out and getting the Skyrim when it comes back out, even though already have it. Yeah. Great game. I didn't updated visuals, all that kind of stuff. Mod support. Come yeah. on now. Like this it, is it's, a really it's strange a, thing. It's just a strange. <clears throat> it's a strange thing for me. I can't really call it with Sony on this one. I thought Sony kind of seemed like they want to kind of get into and go after that PC market. That's what I thought too. Considering some of the moves they've made with PlayStation now, PlayStation now the, the wireless controller wire, connected yeah, to the PC this, now, right? This seems counterproductive, Sony. I I have to agree. It feels like, oh yeah, well we're on top, we can do what we want. You can't tell us da 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 whatever, and that's the mistakes that you made with PlayStation Two going into PlayStation Three. Don't do this again. You're shooting yourself in the foot with this one. Gone. Foot gone. Off. Foot gone. Clean off. And with that, we gone. Loading snacks. Ow, ow.